Yo, what's up guys? And today I will be showing you how to use World Guard. And with World Guard, you can create regions to protect from PvP, block damage, explosions, fire, stuff like that. So it's plug in mainly for protection. And you also need World Edit for this to work. So go ahead and download both. Alright, there's World Guard. Now you can download World Edit. So go ahead and open up World Guard and dra just drag the jar into the plugins folder. And now you can open World Edit and drag that jar in there too. Okay. So you should have two new plugins World Edit and World Guard. Alright, so go ahead and restart your server. And while it's restarting, I also want to say that you guys can comment down any request of any plugins that you want. Because, you know, if you just comment them down, I'll try to do them as soon as possible and I'll try to do them as best as I can. So, yeah. Alright, so now that's restarted, we can minimize this. Go to plugins folder, and it should be a world guard folder. Open that up and go to config. You should have Notepad plus plus to open this. You can use Notepad, but Notepad plus plus is better to me. But it's all up to you. So here we have regions and this is for MySQL database if you don't have one then don't worry about it I have a tutorial on how to create one if you want it um so yeah set all of these to your liking you know if you want to disable creeper explosion then you can go ahead and change that to true this is all to your liking and once you're done save it and close out of this first before you restart it again and then once you restart it again we'll head on minecraft alright so before we actually start creating a region I'm gonna go over a few commands that world guard provides for you like slash locate and then it'll use it's like a, like a invisible compass to point to the nearest player or the player closest to you the next command is slash stop fire and this stops all fire spread any kind of fire on this world so this is useful if you wanna prevent that from happening and then the last command that I'll be sh well you can uh, also do slash allow fire now reverse it. So the next command is uh, slash stop lag, and this will try to it'll it'll halt all lag and try to remove entities from your world and server. So this is actually useful. Instead of getting like a lag remove plugin, you can actually use this command, and it'll perform it within a amount of time so yeah alright so now we're gonna create regions regions to provide protection against griefers or anything like that this is what we're gonna do so the first thing you wanna do is type slash slash wand and this will get out your wand tool this will let you select positions to create your region so let's say we want to select the bottom corner and then go all the way all the way diagonal from it and select the top corner like that and that will select everything from the bottom all the way to the top over there so it will select this whole uh, structure there so you select your first position by left clicking and also if you want to get the ground inside here 
the ground like the nether brick, then you're going to have to actually go down a block to get the ground. See, this is actually the ground layer. If you want to protect the ground layer, you left click to select. And like I said, fly all the way diagonal into the top. And you can start from the top. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Then go to the bottom, doesn't really matter. Then right click to select your second position. And now to create it, type slash region, define, and then the name of this region. I'm going to call it arena. Now it says region saved as arena. So here is where it can get, you can actually customize the region by setting up flags. And flags are th pretty much flags that prevent actions from happening or certain things from happening. So let, let's say there's a, there's a TNT flag. So if you wanted to set a TNT flag and deny that flag, then there would be no TNT in this region. So all flags that you create apply to the region that you type. So to do this, you type slash region, flag, the name of the region. So I named mine arena. For this example, we're going to do the flag TNT. And we're going to deny it. So now it says the region flag TNT set and it has been set to deny any TNT. So that's how you set up a flag. If you come to this link in the description below, you can see all the kinds of flags. Yeah, there's there's tons of them and you can take a look at that. It's all up to you how you want it. And now I'll do a couple more flags just to show you. So the next flag that I'm going to set which is also pretty interesting is the greeting message flag and by this I mean that whenever you walk in the region the greeting message that you set will appear and you can also do this in color by using those color codes on the screen right now and I have a link to the picture in the description so what you have to do is type slash region flag the name of the region, the name of the flag which is called greeting, and then the greeting message. So if you are going to use colors, you have to do the and and then the letter of that code before you type the message. So I'm going to do light green which is and in the lowercase g, and then type welcome to my arena. So now whenever I walk in the arena, this message will appear. See, there you go. Welcome to my arena. We're not going to do a farewell flag because it's pretty much the same as a greeting flag. So I'll use another example. So the next flag that I'm going to do is the build flag. I'm going to set it to deny. This is a common flag that I'm sure most of you will want to use. So you type deny and then any player, any default player can come in here and try to break the blocks but they won't be able to. So that's what that flag is. Alright so the next thing we're going to do is type commands that allow us to add members to a region and owners to a region. So to add a member to your region you just type slash region add member and then then the name of the region, so it's arena for me, and then that player name. Now I don't have any players on my server right now, but yeah, that is how you add an owner or a member. But now to add an owner, it's the same thing, pretty much. And there you go. So that's how you add members and owners. So let's say if I gave this whole region that I created earlier the flag PVP and then deny because I don't want any PVP inside here. But then if I wanted PVP in here,
then all I would have to do is, you know, I'm not really accurately selecting this region. All I would have to do is type slash slash region define PvP zone. And then that's PvP zone. And then I gotta give it flag PvP allow. So now this part of the region has or is allowing PvP. But because this smaller region is inside the bigger region that doesn't allow PvP, you have to set its priority. And to do that, and setting the priority of this smaller region will allow its flags to be to override the bigger region's flags. So to do that, type slash slash region set priority the name of the region so PvP zone and then a number so because I didn't set the priority of the bigger region it has a it has a pro set priority of zero right now the number for that is zero so the higher number the higher that that priority so I'm gonna do like a hundred even though I could just do one because the priority of the bigger region is, is just zero but I'm just gonna do a hundred so now that it has the higher priority, its flags will override, its flags in this region will override what has been said overall of the bigger region. So now you can type slash region list, see all the regions you have created, and then slash region remove, and then you can type the name of the region, and now that region has been removed. So let's say I wanted to use the flag entry and deny it. And what that flag will do, it will prevent any players from entering inside of that region that you want. You can, you can allow or deny that. Depends on what you want. But let's say if I do that command, then no default player will be allowed in there. So I will show you how to add a group like a group in your permissions file and allow just that group to be or to enter inside that arena if you use this entry command or entry flag I'm sorry so you type slash region flag the name of the region it's arena for me and then entry deny or allow for this purpose I'm going to put deny so now if we wanted to add a group in our permissions to the members of this region then we would type slash region add member and you can do this the same for add owner but add owner has higher thing can do more things than a member so I'm just going to be showing member so slash region add member the name of the region and then G so this part right here after the G colon there's no space there but this is the part where you're gonna add the group that you want inside of this region since you set the entry flag to deny so this group will be in your permissions file any group that you want for this example I'm gonna use my builder group and there we go so now the builder groups or anyone inside the builder group is allowed in that region. So now we can type slash region, flag, the name of the region, entry, and then negative G space non members. So once we type this in, that means only the builders can be allowed in this area. The negative G means that it will not allow non-members into this area and because we added the builder group as a member then that group is a member so it is allowed in in this region so we just hit enter and all we have to do is add in this permission here to our permissions file but 
this ending part will not be the same unless your group name is builder so it'll go to whatever group name you have it at so as you can see there I just got pretty technical with things but that is the basics of world guard so I hope this helped you and if it did give it a thumbs up and like this video thanks for watching <laughs>